Good afternoon. My name is Mary Elcraft, and I'm an independent songwriter. And I'm here to talk to you about something that is so central to my songwriting and songwriting these days, which is honesty. You know, you wonder these days, what even is honesty? Is honesty sharing your deepest, darkest secrets with a friend? Is it an unfiltered photo on Instagram? Is it an unapologetic way you live your life? It's something we crave in all of our relationships and in our walks of life. And it's also essential to songwriting too. Now more than ever, social media has broken down the barriers between artist and fan. We have Instagram Live and Facebook Live that almost make it feel like you're there with the artist in real time, almost like you're FaceTiming, like real friends. You have direct message on Twitter and Instagram and other platforms that almost feels like you're texting an artist as if you're friends. And that kind of honesty and that rawness is what fans crave these days. They want to feel that personal connection with an artist. They want to feel like more than a fan, but instead, a friend. And that kind of honesty has to translate to our songwriting too. For example, Julia Michaels, right? She has this song called Issues. And that honesty in that song, she talks about how she's imperfect and she's afraid to be in relationship. She's afraid of commitment. She has things that she sees are problematic about herself. And I'm sure she felt alone when she was writing that. Yet when the fans hear that song, they feel less alone because they get it too. They feel insecure in relationships. They feel like there's problematic things about them. And when Julia sings about it, that connection takes place because she's honest. Then we have a song like In My Blood from Shawn Mendes. His new album is phenomenal, by the way. Um, and there's a line in that song that says, laying on the bathroom floor, feeling nothing. And you know he felt alone in that moment. And that is a very honest thing to say, that you are laying on the bathroom floor, feeling nothing. Yet he released it to the world, and now thousands and millions of fans hear that song, and they feel less alone, because he chose the brave decision to be honest. And they want to feel like they know Sean. They want to feel like they understand his pain, because that bridge between fan and artist is getting smaller each day. So as a songwriter, I try to strive for that same vulnerability. There's the 2 a.m. hours, and if you're a musician, you know that you're most honest at 2 a.m. because you're alone and you're tired and you don't even have the effort to lie to yourself anymore. You don't even have the energy. And that's when I find the most honesty in my writing. And even though it's scary and honesty is honestly terrifying, that's the song that people connect to the most because they see that truth within the song. So I wanna play that song for you. It's called Box. And I wanna tell you the story before I play it because we're being honest here. Back in December, I went through a really hard breakup. I know, songwriter going through a breakup, so stereotypical. But this two and a half year relationship it wrecked me when it ended, and it blindsided me. And you take the steps, you know, you take the steps to heal. You throw away the toothbrush. You take the pictures down off the wall. You delete the string of messages that spans back two and a half years. And then a box shows up on your doorstep with all of your stuff. And just as you've started to make this progress, all of a sudden, these two steps forward turn into... 15 steps backward and you're broken again on your bedroom floor at 2 a.m. And for me, that was a time when I felt incredibly vulnerable and I didn't have the energy to lie to myself, so I wrote. And this song has been one that's connected with the most people because I was so honest in my lyrics, just like Julia Michaels was honest in Issues and Shawn Mendes is honest in In My Blood and so many other artists are becoming more and more honest with themselves and others. So this is a song called Box, and I hope you like it.
couldn't move Saw it there across the room Saw your name, top corner ink It's too soon Half of me had hoped you'd lost my address The other half an uncontrollable mess You kept the photos and the key So why did you let go of me? I'm falling apart in my apartment On the floor of my room Locked door pictures of you Covered in teardrops Counting the years lost Cut the tape Open up Like I did when you played tough But when I think I've cried enough You send a box of my stuff Folded up These days, nothing feels the same But your handwriting hasn't changed And the way you tuck the sleeves inside The perfect fit of your hand in mine These days, nothing feels the same Every month was once a rose Now you're sending back my clothes And I'm falling apart in my apartment On the floor of my room Locked door pictures of you Covered in teardrops Counting the years lost Got the tape open up Like you did when you were drunk But when I think I've heard enough you send a box of my stuff, fold it up. You took my things off of the shelf, signed your name with nothing else, and now I'm left here with my, with myself. Oh, this is hell, this is hell, this is hell. You're probably pacing back and forth Questioning all this was worth Did you expect a simple text? Did you change my name to X in your phone? I tell you no, but you won't hear from me anymore Cause I'm falling apart in my apartment On the floor of my room Locked door pictures of you are covered in teardrops. I'm counting the years lost. Got the day open up. Thought maybe I'd be tough, but when I think I'm strong enough, you send a box of my stuff, fold it up. You send a box in case I forgot. We broke up. Thank you. Thank you. So obviously I'm terrified right now to show you that side of me we just met. Um, but now we're tight because I was honest with you. And now you know me better. And I know you better because of the way you reacted. And now I feel less alone because of the way that you welcomed me. So thank you for that. And if you're an artist, what I can tell you is this, is that you're most honest when you're alone. And when nobody's around you to skew your perspective of yourself or to manipulate the way you think about your image, when you're alone and it's quiet, that's when you write. Because that's how you build honesty in your songs and that's how you connect with others. Thank you so much. <laughs>